Little Johnny was in class and the teacher was asking the kids to use words in a sentence. She says, the first word is enunciate. Who can use the word enunciate in a sentence? Little Susie raises her hand. She says, well, we need to enunciate our words properly so people understand us. She says, that's great, little Susie. She said, the, the second word is contemplate. Who can use contemplate in a sentence? Well, little Billy raises his hand. He says, well, I had to contemplate whether I wanted a ham sandwich or macaroni and cheese for supper. She says, yeah, that's pretty good. She says, okay, the third word is harassment. Who can use the word harassment in a sentence? Well, little Johnny raises his hand. He says, well, my older brother has been really down in the dumps lately. She says, okay. He says, well, he, he really misses his girlfriend. She says, well, what does that have to do with the word harassment? He says, well, harassment a lot to him. <laughs> Being that I'm down in Mexico, I thought this would be the perfect joke to tell. Little Johnny was in his second year of college and he was known as the class clown. He went into class one day and his professor said, you know, little Johnny, I'm feeling kind of down. You, you think you could tell me a joke? You know, lift my spirits up a little bit. So little Johnny says, hey, uh, you know the Mexican word of the day? He says, no, what's the Mexican word of the day? He says, chicken finger. He says, chicken finger? What do you mean by that? He says, oh, my girlfriend told me she don't need me anymore. She can finger herself. <laughs> hey, John. What? You want to hear a joke? Yep. Little Johnny goes and sits on Santa Claus's lap. Santa says, I know exactly what you want, little Johnny. He goes, T-O-Y-S, toys. He says, no, I got a lot of toys. He says, okay, well, then you want C-A-N-D-Y, candy. He says, no, I don't want any candy. I got a lot of candy at home. He goes, all right. You want a B-I-K-E, a bike. The guy says, no, I got a bike. I don't need one. Santa says, all right, give me a break here. He says, what do you want, kid? What do you want? Well, Johnny smiles and he says, I want P-U-S-S-Y. And don't tell me you ain't got any because I can smell it all over your fingers. <laughs> hey, John. Mm -hmm. My grandfather used to always say, as, as one door opens, another one closes. Yeah. He was a lovely man. Yeah. A terrible cabinet maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Johnny was five years old, and he went to the department store with his mom. Well, there was a mannequin there with a dress on. Little Johnny got curious and stuck his hand up that dress. His mom says, little Johnny, get your hand out of there. They've got teeth up there. It'll bite your hand off. Well, Johnny pulls his hand out, and he was afraid for about 15 years. Well, fast forward to college, and he had his girlfriend over for about the fourth time, and they're making out, and she says, well, why don't you ever stick your hand down my pants? All you do is kiss me. He says, no, no, I can't. My mom told me that you got teeth down there, and you'll bite my hand off. She says, no, we don't. And she pulls her pants down, and she says, look. Well, Johnny looks, he says, oh. Well, no wonder you ain't got any teeth with the shape your gums are in. Little Johnny was in math class, and the teacher says, all right, kids, today we're going to work on our numbers. She says, little Susie, what is three plus three? Little Susie says, one, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is six. Teacher says, that's correct, little Susie. She says, okay, little Billy, what is four plus three? Little Billy says, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The answer is seven. Teacher says, that's correct, little Billy. Well, the teacher does not want the kids using their fingers anymore to count on. So she says, little Johnny, put your hands in your pocket. Little Johnny puts his hands in his pocket, and she says, okay, now what's five plus five? Little Johnny thinks about it. He says, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The answer is eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Little Johnny was in spelling class, and the teacher says, Okay, kids, today we're going to go through the alphabet and use words that start with each one of the letters and then use them in a sentence. Well, all the kids start going out. They said apple and baby and cat and dog. And Little Johnny's raising his hand the whole time, and she doesn't want to call on him because every time she does, he says something obscene. Well, she finally gets to W, and she's thinking, okay, there's nothing that little Johnny can say bad with the letter W. So little Johnny raises his hand, and she says, oh, okay, little Johnny, he says, womb. She says, oh, that's that's nice. Yeah, like, like where the baby sits when the mom's pregnant. 
And Jay says, yeah, that and the sound that elephants make when they're having sex. Woom, woom, woom. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to hear a joke? Yep. All right, well, little Johnny's sitting out on his front porch. He's playing with a bottle of turpentine. This priest comes walking by, and he says, what do you got there, little Johnny? He says, huh, this right here is turpentine. It's the most powerful liquid in the world. The priest says, oh, no, little Johnny. He says, this right here is holy water. And he says, one little rub of this on a woman's belly, and, and she'll pass a baby boy. Little Johnny says, oh, yeah? I put one little one little bit of this turpentine on the bottom of my cat's ass and it'll pass a whole motorcycle. <laughs> hey John. Yeah. What's the difference between a genealogist and a gynecologist? I don't know. A genealogist looks up a family tree. Yeah. And a gynecologist looks up the family bush. <laughs> Hey, John, want to hear a joke? Yeah. Well, the United States Census was doing their interviews, and they called up this fellow down in Arkansas. He answers the phone. She says, hey, can I interview you? He says, yes, you can. She says, what's your name? He said, Bubba Jenkins. She said, okay, Bubba Jenkins. She said, sex. He says, well, about three to five times a week. She says, I mean, male or female? He said, male, female, sometimes goat. She says, holy cow. He says, yeah, goats, horses, you know, any animals in general. She says, well, isn't that high style? He says, well, yeah, horse style, doggy style, any kind of style I can get. She says, oh, deer. He says, no, no, deer. Deer run too fast. I can't catch them. <laughs> hey, Dad, want to hear a joke? Yeah, what do you got? All right, little Johnny's out in his front yard playing and he looks over at his neighbors and he sees the neighbor girl and looks like she's pregnant. Well, he doesn't think anything and he just goes and plays until the next day he sees her dad out over there. So he runs on over. He says, mister, I saw your daughter yesterday and her belly was big. Looks like she's pregnant. He says, she's not married. How's that happen? He got all flustered. He says, oh, she's not, she's not pregnant. She, she's just gassing. If she farted, it would all go away. He says, okay, and he goes and plays. Well, about a year later, little Johnny's out there playing again, and he sees that girl over there with a baby in her arms. Well, he doesn't think anything of it until the next day he goes over there, and dad's out there again. He says, hey, mister, I saw your daughter yesterday, and she looks so happy there with her fart in her arms. <laughs> hey, John, it was Braille's fourth birthday yesterday, and I, I didn't even recognize her. Well, I've never seen her before. <laughs>